Boom. We're pre-recorded today on this Tuesday, October 9th morning. It is absolutely beautiful. We hope you have the same feeling. We're going to dive right in. We're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, obviously one of our top favorites, but we've also added Ravencoin, Veritasium, and Populous back onto the watch list um, as we believe we've reached lows in every alternative asset that we have been interested in in, in the early part of last year. So we're excited to dive back in and take a look at how those are doing as well. Obviously, those are all community curated. Anyone you guys had asked us for those thoughts, you had pushed them our way and we're doing our best to reiterate and share that information. Uh, so if you guys are new to the Bear channel, you can join the Telegram channel in the links below. And from there, you can actually recommend coins that we take a look at. And from there, we do our best to fill that in as the time allows. So right off the get go, Bitcoin, obviously, fundamentally our favorite unit of account our index per se, however you wish to call it, are hopefully the new money, uh, well, and many of the new monies really in decentralization, has found itself again right off, <clears throat> bouncing off the top of this last support and resistance line around the $6,600 mark. Again, seeing these this continuation in this pattern that we've been following since uh, mid-September um, with the breakout probably mid-October, around October 19th, almost likely an entire month of this movement, uh, we see the R, um, the uh, your MACD here is actually turned down on the on the four hour chart, uh, which is not a particularly bullish sign. Uh, but it's likely that we will retest that area. But on the one day chart, we've actually just started to break through. And here you can see. Let's scroll in a little bit more. We'll make this MACD a little higher. Once this red line crosses into this volume here, uh, we're likely going to see a price increase in Bitcoin uh, to the seven thousand dollar mark. So we're keeping an eye on that. Um, we're going to look at doing some more videos uh, about how to potentially take advantage of that. Obviously, none of this is trading advice. This is strictly for entertainment only. I do my best to show up daily and recognize the patterns that we see as they start to unfold. Um, but as you can see here, the last time, as soon as we broke out through this red line, uh, let's drag the rest of the screen down here. As we started to break out through this red line here uh, with the blue, uh, we saw a significant volume increase, especially around that $6,600 area. So we'll be keeping a close eye on Bitcoin, and we suspect that many of the other coins will follow. Um, again, this is probably uh, the final low breakout point um, before we retest again the $6,5500 area. Um, and we're obviously, with fingers crossed, hoping that the momentum continues. Again, remembering that we're bat battling in some way an economic and, and governmental disaster uh, with what's been taking place. Obviously, the replacement of these old and ancient archetype systems such as governance they just don't function for the people anymore and they will be replaced banks are also on the chopping block for exactly that reason so keeping a close eye on bitcoin here as we look at the rest of the other tokens now you guys had asked me to take a look specifically at uh, populous veritasium and ravencoin so i'm going to throw those back in the chart so let's start with <clears throat> Populous. Now, Populous is an invoicing platform. Uh, again, there's it's a multi-trillion dollar um, industry where people can basically take loans against the current invoices that they have so that they can actually do business uh, prior to getting paid. So, for instance, if I owned a workshop and I was going to charge you a million dollars for the work that was getting done, but it cost me $300,000 to do the work, I can actually take a loan out against that invoice for the million dollars that you're going to pay if I didn't have the $300,000 to do the initial work in the first place. And this is kind of what the invoicing platform Populous aims to do. Uh, we saw them up at a high around $80 here. Um, this is, again, one of the reasons why we don't HODL tokens, um, specifically the altcoin tokens. Uh, Bitcoin makes more sense, but just with everything else we've seen, it makes sense to rebuy back in at the lows and sell the highs. We saw a big, a big breakdown from the highs due to uh, some, uh, what well, I'll call it FUD for now, essentially. So we've dropped down to, well, what we could consider all-time lows because there is no... Uh, recorded history of it being lower. It actually, uh, around $8 here when it went live. This is, again, <clears throat> that could be untrue. Um, I, I would have to look at coin market cap. So maybe I'll save that for tomorrow in the video to double check that sentiment, but keep that in mind. So we've dropped down to all time lows. This consistent area of support around the $3.50 mark here, you can see. And um, we've actually just turned up on the one day. So this actually, it looks like a breakout point for Populous. I'm not saying uh, buy and or sell, but they had good news come out yesterday. Um, Steve Nico, one of the co-founders of the company, said they had started actually running invoices on the platform as a, as a beta test, essentially. So that was positive. And again, specifically, our MACAT on the daily is about to break through here. And this is important because 
Well, this is where your volume is going to come from, essentially. A lot of traders are going to watch that, especially on the daily chart, because it's it's significant, uh, consistent volume. Um, so we've got a close eye on Populous. Again, uh, we saw huge gains from the 3 to $4 or $8 mark to 80 so 10 times gains on this token. Um, I'm not sure what its ICO price was. It could have been even cheaper than that, but I know once it hit the market here, um, this because this is from Cryptopia, I believe, the data that we have. It went for a nice run. Uh, Veritasium did the exact same thing. Um, out the door, it came out uh, swinging. Uh, we've got data here um, where it was at, uh, f I think from from the ICO price is around a dollar. Um, and, and then it shot all the way up to $475 here in the beginning of January. Now, Veritasium is a platform that's looking to essentially <clears throat> utilize the blockchain space for onboarding assets into a tradable uh, background system. Now we have stuff like that already in the stock market and systems like this could re eventually replace the stock market. And that's really what Reggie Middleton is trying to do. They're trying to get rid of some of the account um, settlement times that are currently related in the stock market and a, a lot of the liquidity problems with actually owning those contracts. Um, so they had a massive run up into the $440 area. Again, massive speculation on everything last year. And we've seen it settle down to the $17 mark, uh, significantly lower than the previous high, uh, the previous low we had back in November around $33. We've dropped down before. We've seen a pretty stable, um, consistent entry point here around the $17 mark since September. Um, I, it could go lower again, probably near the $13 mark, I would suspect, um, especially seeing as the uh, your moving average, uh, your MACD here essentially has turned down for the time being only on the on the slightly for the daily and it's getting closer to crossing over. But until it crosses over, I'm not not particularly interested in Veritasium, but I do suspect that if Reggie Middleton uh, is correct, and if Cliff High's data is correct in its assertion, suddenly Veritasium could do amazingly well. Again, this is uh, there are other to other forms of tokens that look to do this. Um, Raven is actually similar in its interest, although it uses a proof of work blockchain, which I actually think makes it a little more fundamentally valuable. And we're going to be looking into the use case of some of this because inevitably most. Uh, products, services, um, almost everything in the future will likely be on the blockchain to some degree due to verification, trust, and um, well, the validity purposes for say something goes wrong in your food, they can actually batch out which ones they were, which groups, and look at sections of maybe production models as well for let's say recalls on products, etc. So keeping a close eye on that. Um, looking at Ravencoin, uh, Ravencoin is one of the ones we've had on the list. All the little birdies and animals in the jungle have been telling us to look at Ravencoin, uh, so we did. Uh, we think it's great. We wrote a little article up on them the other day. We tried to get in contact with uh, some of their d development team to see if they wanted to do a podcast and check on it. Um, we've actually been offered someone who's going to bring us some mining equipment so we can set up a little miner in the bear den and become a part of the uh, become a part of the revolution. So we're super excited to be able to. Um, I guess dive into that world as well. It's something we've never, we had tried mining Bitcoin back in the day, but it was uh, mostly unlucrative around 2013 for anyone with a computer like myself. So we are far off the mining for Bitcoin, but this is one of the problems that the X16R hash helps solve. Again, de decentralizing the ledger just a little bit more by bringing mining back to the masses instead of into the groups of the people that have the most hashing power. So very unique X16R hashing algorithm inside Ravencoin. And they're actually using Ravencoin for um, entering uh, different assets on the blockchain as well. Uh, so they're offering a platform for like rare arts, collectibles, etc. And we think there's a massive space for that niche. Uh, we've been chatting with one of our best friends about how uh, you might be able to integrate that. Obviously, I'm mostly a conception guy, the development of blockchain, all this tech stuff. I can't, I don't, it's not mine to write those, but I can see how we can conceptually integrate, build, grow, and especially the marketing and advertising behind this stuff, because I think more and more what people are recognizing is that this is entirely about brand and community building, uh, almost more so than product. Um, and we've seen that over the last 10 years, that if you uh, if you capture the attention and the hearts of the community, it almost doesn't matter if you have a product or not, you are, uh, more, you are the value that the community is looking for. And that's Again, one of the reasons why we show up at the Arcane Bear, we're consistently trying to bring good content uh, through my rants, my freestyles, through the podcasts, through the daily charts, uh, the, the interviews, the sponsored reviews, everything that we do is trying to aim at that. Obviously, I'm a talker, not a writer, so we keep, keep that in mind. Um, the one important thing here that we're looking at is the growth and development of the community and decentralization actually calls for more information in the first place. And in this ecosystem where there is seems to be not a lack of it, but there could be a lot more of it. 
it. Um, we throw our two cents in every day. So thank you guys for supporting us. Remember to give us those thumbs up if you like this content. Now, oh, <coughs> and subscribe, oh, hit that little bell all those fun things uh join our telegram channel in the links below because our community and the bear family keeps that conversation going it's actually where a lot of the great tokens you guys had told us to look at ravencoin uh, electronium went up 300 percent. i tried to add it to look to the watch list this morning but I, I couldn't do it to the fact that it's not showing up here on trading view i will do a separate analysis of that later but it went up 300 percent. so the the you guys in the bear family you've made calls that i just have not been able to keep up with so i look forward to trying to suss out more of the great information that you guys provide um and and, and highlight that as well because uh, you guys are obviously the strength of this community um, i'm just a talking talking face and head um so with that in mind, with Ravencoin here, let's take a look at the four-hour chart instead so we can get a little, little bit better of a view here on, on the data uh, that's taking place. So with Ravencoin, we're actually, for the most part, at, at fairly all-time. Let's see, did I, what did I do here? Uh, let's, let's go to the two-hour instead. There's just not, a, not enough data on this token yet to really, to really give it the, oh, oh no, oh no. I don't know what's happened here. Um, it's going to make it very difficult to uh, look at this chart if I can't zoom in on it. <clears throat> Anyways, the point of this is, is Raven is actually looking like a fairly good point for entry. Uh, I can't show you exactly where. I do suspect it will go a little bit lower. Again, the repeating uh, and echoing factor of Bitcoin likely coming down one, one more time here um, before we see n not new highs, but a higher high than the previous highs, which is around $7,600 uh, $7, is what we would hope to see. So I can't, I can't zoom in. On, oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know what happened here with Ravencoin. <sighs> when they have this little data, it's almost impossible to look at it very easily. So let's go back to the four hour, the two hour chart. Let's try, like, really try to suss this out for a minute so I can show you what I was looking at. Uh, great. So we saw a, a, a minor price increase over the last little while. It's returned. It's pretty much hot, hot huddling, huddling itself down at um, the recent lows. Uh, so I suspect that let's if we if we draw from its previous high, um, the Fibonacci are obviously our favorite tool. Uh, yeah, we'll just do, use this as the bottom. We still haven't broken out of that two three six layer if we use these final uh, volume candles as our uh, return. So I suspect these are all probably fairly good entry points. Um, we're going to take it. We're we're going to take allocation spaces in Ravencoin as well, uh, adding it to one of our favorites and the watch for our alt season hunting coming up here in the short future. This is Tia with the Arcane Bear. We're signing off, not for the rest of the day. Actually, we hope to maybe do one or two more quick videos. So if you like our daily content, again, give us those thumbs up. You can head over to arcanebear.com if you want to get yourself some Arcane Bear swag, 20% off. Just type in Arcane Bear, all one word ship to anywhere on the planet order yourself a mug a cup a hat mugs and cups are pretty much the same thing i guess you can order both mug and cup not set not included a shirt whatever it might be a tote bag we hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful day and thank you for all the support we are doing our best to basically align with as many avenues as possible um, in this growing ecosystem and we hope to continue to be able to bring you astonishing ranting content in the future this is Teal with the arcane bear we're going to sign off We'll see you guys on the other side. Bam.